it's Maureen and I'm here to share with you a new video today. Um, you know, over at my blog, The Northeast Girl, I get a lot of requests on how I curl my hair for my pictures. So I thought that would be a really fun video to share with you guys over here, um, just to see kind of how I take, you know, my, my pretty straight, naturally straight hair and give it a little bit of body and a little bit of volume. So before we get started, I'll just go ahead and show you the different tools and um, products that I use. Super simple. Um, I hope you're not disappointed because it's not very complicated at all, but um, I guess that's probably a good thing. So I use two different kinds of hairbrushes. I use um, this round brush right here, and I also use more of like a comb brush. Um, my curling iron right here is a Hot, tool, Hot Tools curling iron, and it's a one and a half inch barrel. And um, the last thing I use is just a regular hairspray. I really like this Trust Me hairspray, um, number four. It, it's not like a super, it doesn't leave you know your hair with like that really crunchy feeling. And I really only use it just um, in the styling part. So you'll see that all as I go along. Um, as you can see over here on this side, I already did half of it because um, just for timing purposes and you'll be able to see um, how I take, you know, this straight hair over here and give it the curls and then how I kind of style it at the end. Um, I think it's really important to mention that because my hair is pretty straight, the haircut that I get from my hairstylist is, you know, pretty important as far as, you know, how I get it to curl and, and look as voluminous as, as it is. So as you can see, I have, um, you know, pretty long hair, I guess now, but you'll be able to tell as I'm curling it that down here, you know, underneath my hair is pretty long. And then as you can see, I have layers um, all the way up to the top and then like a couple layers in the front. So this piece is pretty short. And then, you know, underneath my hair is pretty long. That's really helpful for me when it comes to curling because if my hair were all one length and I went to curl it, it would be um, just really weighed down and it wouldn't have these you know, shorter pieces over here on the side that make my hair look so much more voluminous than it actually is. So the haircut's actually pretty important. Um, but other than that, it's pretty easy. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get started and show you how I, I curl my hair. Um, basically what I do is I do it in sections. So I start right here with this piece beneath my ear um, and I would usually just, you know, go all the way around and do it in one section. So, you know, because I've already started, I'll go ahead and just take one of my daughter's little clips here and kind of get this section just out of the way. Um, it's, it's nice to have it out of the way like that because then it doesn't interfere with like the pieces that you're curling on the bottom. So for me, I like the curls to go away from my face. So when I take my curling iron, I make sure that it's facing so when you twist it, it twists out, if that makes sense. So this section right here has to be curled. So I take this and um, my curling iron, I like it pretty hot, but I don't use it very long. So you can see I clipped it on the bottom, curl it away from my face, and then just give it a couple seconds, and then I just twist to get the ends in. I try and leave the ends out of the heat as long as possible because I try and just, you know, make sure that my hair doesn't get too damaged. So, you know, I just kind of leave it like that. And as you can see, it creates this wave in the back. So before I pull the next piece down, for me, I take um, just a little bit of hairspray and give it a light spray like that. Because what happens is, is when you take the other sections down, they, um, they will get tangled up with that curl that you just made. And in order for me to keep it separate, that little bit of hairspray that I put um, in the curl, when I go to you know pull the next piece down, they don't get tangled together, if that makes sense. So let me go ahead and grab another piece. I'm actually gonna switch out and use this little ponytail holder because those little clips are not cooperating today. So um, you know I just kind of keep that piece out of the way and then grab the next section. Now, because this is a bigger piece of hair, I'm gonna take that section and kind of break it into two. And then again, I start in the middle and twist it like that. And then just kind of work my way through. And as you can see, the pieces are gonna get bigger as I get closer to the top of my head. And I'm going to leave them in maybe just a little bit longer. 
it's totally up to you. I personally like my curling iron really hot. Um, there, as you can see, there's another little curl right there. I personally like my curling iron really hot because I feel like it gives me um, a tighter curl. And that way, when I go to brush it out, if the curl were a lot looser, then um, I feel like it's not as voluminous as I want it to be. And also, it probably doesn't last as long. My hair loves Las Vegas. There's no humidity here. And um, when we, when I curl it, you know, and we go out at night or, or whatever, I feel like it just lasts so much longer. So go ahead and curl that last little end piece right there. And then I just kind of let, let, um, let the clip a little bit looser right there just to let it pull out. And just like I did before, you just give it a little bit of spray so that when you pull that next piece down, they don't get tangled together. Um, I wish I had time to do my hair like this every day because I really do like the way that it looks. Um, but of course, you know, this is reality. So um, my hair generally gets curled for when I'm doing my blog pictures um, just because I really like the way it looks. And um, when, when we go out at night, like if we have plans with friends or, um, you know, if I'm going out on a date with my husband or something like that, it's kind of my special occasion here. Um, again, I just took the next layer. I just used my finger um, to pull the next piece out and when all is said and done I usually have one and then two and then three and then the last top layer is usually the fourth layer that I do. So you know in the first layer it was one piece and the second layer it ended up being two pieces and because of the size of this portion of my hair this one's probably going to end up being three. So you can see I'll take that first piece in the front and then I just let this hang down but because I put some hairspray right here um, the curls don't get all tangled up with the hair that I'm working with now. And you know, you don't have to do that, but for me, it just makes it so much easier to pull it apart, which is nice. So again, away from the face um, is just the way that I like to do it. I've seen some really pretty hair tutorials where it's more retro and glam and they curl it towards their face, but um, for me, I'm just a creature of habit. So I really like the way it looks when I pull it away from my face. And this Hot Tools curling iron, I'll have to tell you a little story behind it. Um, I have had this curling iron for a couple of years and um, I didn't even mention it, but it used to have this little black knob on the top, which is, you know, what's helpful when you're curling your hair if you, you know, feel more comfortable pinching the top of the curling iron. Well, um, mine fell off, which is fine. And I was kind of upset when it happened because I think to myself, oh my gosh, I'm gonna burn my hand. Um, but I didn't have time to get a new one. I got this one on Amazon and I really needed to use it that day. So I'm just so used to it now that I, I don't even realize that that little knob is there. So about a week ago, I said to myself, oh, I'm going to finally do this video. You know, everyone's been requesting this video for so long. I'm just going to go ahead and get a new curling iron because they're probably going to think, oh my gosh, that thing is so old. Um, and I ordered one from Amazon and what did I do? Well, you know, I ordered the wrong size, so it is what it is. Now I have a one inch curling iron as well as this one, and um, I'm probably still gonna order a new one to replace this one, because it's probably not the safest that, you know, this doesn't have that knob right there on the top, but it's been, it's been about two months since it fell off, and I don't, even, I don't even pay attention to it anymore, so it doesn't seem to be too big a deal. But I did buy another one and I'll probably have to replace this one soon. So, you know. Okay, one more section after this. And you see all these curls are just kind of hanging there, pretty loose. Um, the hairspray, you know, kind of keeps them in place while they cool, which is also really helpful. But again, I like to use it so that the hair I'm working with right now um, doesn't get tangled up with the hair I've already worked with. So, um, one last section, this, you know, I run a brush through it just real quick if it's been up in that ponytail. So this is my last section here. Um, for me, this is kind of the most important section. It's the biggest section. And um, I have these pieces here in the front that I kind of like to swoop a little bit. So I'll show you how I do that piece in the front um, just so it kind of lays the way that I want it to lay. So um, I'll start in the back. Um, oh, I should tell you. Um, because I can't, obviously cannot see the back of my hair, I, um, I generally take the pieces and kind of just right down the middle and pull one to this side and then the rest to this side. And then when you brush it, they all just kind of fall back there and you can't even tell that 
you know, I, I didn't have a whole section in the back. So I usually do half the section over here and the other sec section over here. So for the last section right here, um, the pieces are gonna be a little bit bigger, which is fine, because they're a little bit shorter. And then I just, again, same thing, grab a piece and then I just slowly kind of move it towards the ends of the curling iron, super easy. Again, it would be so nice if I had time to do this every day, but most days, when I don't really have much going on, it's kind of in an elastic at the, you know, at the nape of my neck, or even better, it's up in a ponytail, and I have my favorite little headbands that I use, um, you know, and that it's just good for me when I'm running around with my daughter, and you know, it is what it is. But the the, the nice thing about curling my hair on special occasions is it makes it feel, you know, just like that. It feels like a special occasion. So, um, you know, it's not something that my husband sees every day and it's not something that, you know, I have to stress on myself every day. Oh my gosh, you know, I have to curl my hair. Those days have come and gone. Maybe, maybe way back when we were, you know, dating or I had, you know, a, a fun social life, you know, with a lot of my girlfriends and stuff, it would have been a little more realistic. But for right now, it's okay. I like to just kind of let my hair do its thing most of the time and then, you know, especially for my blog and when I'm going out with my girlfriends or my husband, it's nice to have that curly hair. So, um, and it doesn't, it honestly doesn't take that long. It usually probably wouldn't take me as long even as it's taking right now, but I'm just kind of walking you guys through it. And you can see these pieces are a little bit thicker, um, but the curl is so much shorter than the rest of my hair because of those layers, which is, you know, my haircut is really important. So this last section right here is closer to the front. Um, and I make sure that I get a nice curl in there because it gives so much body to the top of my head. And we're just about finished. This front piece, you know, is kind of my nemesis on some days because most of the time it cooperates and then every once in a while I think to myself, why in the world do you have a mind of your own today? Okay, so this last piece right here um, is kind of the piece that I like to swoop in front of my face. So again, it's a shorter piece. It only comes to maybe right there and I'm, I'm pretty due for a haircut. So again, I just take it, but this time I lift it up pretty high and I make sure that I don't clamp the curling iron down really close to my scalp and start up here because the curling iron generally, it sometimes makes like a crease in there and I don't want that. So um, I start it kind of a little bit higher and then I don't leave it in that long. Just give it a nice quick little spin like that. Get that last little piece. And then I just kind of let it um, hang right over there in the front. Do you see how it kind of has that like nice loose curl right there? Right there? And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. And give it just a second to cool down. Um, and because I'm keeping it real, you know what I noticed? I noticed that this, this little guy right here tried to escape. So we're going to get him real quick because I want to make sure that I grabbed all the pieces. Now you notice since I'm on this side of my head, now I flipped the curling iron and I'm still going away from my face. Um, and it's also kind of nice because when it's away from your face, it's not in your face. So again, just give it a quick little twist and I, you know, kind of just move my finger on the little clamp here so that the hair kind of just slides through the curling iron. And then, you know, ta-da, the end. So this is what it looks like before I just give it the one last brush through. I can see there's another little piece that escapes, but that's okay, he'll blend in just fine. And that's the beauty of the way that I curl my hair is um, you kind of can't really mess it, mess it up because even if you miss this piece here and there, it'll probably just blend in just fine. So this is the last step that I do. Um, you can see, you know, all the curls are kind of still in their little hairspray position. A lot of times, you know, some girls will just run their fingers through it. Um, for me, that's still just a little too PC and I like it to be these big wavy curls. So um, I either use, you know, this brush right here, which is kind of, I use this one when I get out of the shower, it's like a comb brush, but I personally like this one more. The problem is, is because this is so fine, um, when I go to brush it through all that hairspray, it can kind of hurt a little bit. So I just give it a quick comb with this one right here. So I'll start on this side um, and just make sure you don't put too much hairspray in because you know it's harder to brush. So 
I really, you know, I just kind of brush out those curls and let all the different sections that I curled just come together into one, um, one big wave. So let me go ahead and get the other side here. Um, and I really like this Tresemme hairspray because like I said, it sprays on so nicely and it doesn't give you, you know, it's not, it's not too much. And I just want my hair to have, you know, hold power. Like I want it to stay in one place, but I don't want it to feel, um, crunchy. So that's that right there. And then I'll just go ahead and get the back like that. Um, and I'm looking at the little timer right there. Um, 15 minutes, which is about right. Cause when I do all of my hair, it generally takes me about 20 minutes, um, which is nice because I don't have, I don't have a lot of time to spend on my hair. So that's kind of it. Um, you know, I curl it in the sections, my haircut, make sure I have those layers so that I can get these pieces up here, um, that aren't weighed down all the way to the bottom. And then, you know, as you can see in the back right there, even though I couldn't see the back of my head, if I parted it here and did two sections, they just kind of all, you know, come together. So that's kind of it. Um, I'll go ahead and put some links in this post to let you know, you know, which curling iron I used and, and you, you saw the hair brushes, but I'll throw a couple of those in there as well. So you can see, you know, if you wanted to try it out. And I really hope that you do. Um, I hope you liked the video. Definitely give us some feedback. Um, and you know, let me know if you try it and see if it worked for you and, and hopefully you enjoy the video. So thanks for watching today. And I really appreciate you guys coming, come all the feedback that you guys give me on my hair. So I hope, you know, this kind of gave you a little, a little look at, um, how easy it is for you to do too. So thanks a lot.